Welcome to the playlist on map-based learning. In this video, we are going to find the location of iron ore mines in India. Always remember, extracting iron ore is a primary activity and all the iron and steel products that are later formed from iron ores comes under secondary activity. Iron ore mines in India are only found in Deccan Plateau, which is this big region over here. Since Deccan Plateau is the oldest land block which was earlier part of Gondwana land, and iron ores are minerals and minerals take thousands of years to grow, making Deccan Plateau the ideal location in India for iron ore deposits. Basically you will find iron ore deposits in seven states. They are Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Goa and Maharashtra. Let's locate each one of them on a map. The first state is Jharkhand. Let's find the regions that have the iron ore mines in this state. Number one. Singbam district of Jharkhand. It is rich in iron ore deposit. It is located in the complete eastern side of the state and towards the southern limit of Chota Nagpur Plateau. Number 2. Bara Jamda. This mine is nearer to the state of Odisha. There is another mine named Barbil in Odisha. It is pretty near to Bara Jamda. So these are two regions in Jharkhand. Just have a quick glance. Now we move to the second state, Odisha. This state has a lot of iron ore mines. Let's locate them. Number 1. Barbil. Now this place is located in the northernmost region of Odisha and it's very close to Jharkhand state border. Number 2. Mayurbhanj. It's the northeasternmost district of Odisha. It shares the border with the state of West Bengal. This area is rich in iron ore deposit. Number 3. Joda. This is a city of Kionjar district. This area has rich iron ore deposits and it's nearer to the Barbil mines. Number 4. Kendujar or Kionjar. The Orissa School of Mining Engineering is located here and it has many iron ore mines. Number 5. Jajpur. Jajpur is a district and is very closer to the Bay of Bengal. Again, this region is rich in iron ore deposit. Number 6. Sundargarh. It's a district in Odisha. The mines over here are closer to Rorkela steel plant. Number 7. Gandha Mardhan. It's a hilly region and it is rich in iron ore deposits. So these were all the regions in Odisha that are rich in iron ore deposits. Just have a quick glance at all of them. Now we move to the third state, Chhattisgarh. The regions over here are Number 1. Baila Dilla. The mines over here are large scale open cast mechanized. This is a hilly region of Chhattisgarh and it is closer to the Telangana state border. Number 2. Dali Rajara. This is a city in Balod district. The mines over here are the largest suppliers to Bhilai steel plant. So these are the only two regions in Chhattisgarh that have iron ore deposits. Have a quick glance at the map. Now we move to the fourth state, Andhra Pradesh. Region number 1. Guntur. It is a district of Andhra Pradesh. It is closer to the river Krishna and the city of Vijayawada. Region number 2. Ongol. It is a city in Prakasam district of Andhra Pradesh. Ongol is rich in iron deposit. So these are the two regions of Andhra Pradesh. Just have a quick glance at it. Now we move to the fifth state, Karnataka. Number one, Bellari. It is a district in Karnataka. This region is rich in natural resources and here mining is a very common activity. Number two, Chikma Galaru. It is another district in Karnataka and it has rich deposits of iron ores. So these are the iron ore regions of Karnataka. Have a quick view at them. Goa has fine deposits of iron ore both at north and south regions of Goa. So these are the mining belts of Goa. And the last state is Maharashtra. The Ratnagiri district in the southwestern part of Maharashtra is very rich in iron ore mines. It is closer to Arabian Sea, therefore good amount of iron ore is exported from Ratnagiri seaport. So these are the regions of India where some of the biggest iron ore mines are located. All the maps and important points are available. The link to that is in the description. Make sure you see it once. I hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.